Of course it still works, but after over 10 years from my 2007 to 2012 your model slash you see that's what's left of the one wire I had to solder it back it's hanging on there by only one piece of copper now that's all it's down to I have to get a new charger zone but it still works right now this is the battery to my one of these to the battery to stampede or the slash it's done went through uh, the stampedes and I went through uh, a battery I have somewhere of it that's duct taped together and then here's the slashes. One of these is the original 2012 or two or whichever 2007 2012 that came with the slash. One of these batteries is it, which has stopped working, and you see it's just dry rotted because of age. Here's this one, which is around the same year. You see it was cut all the way down to the metal. Eight point four volts. These are the ones that I've been using now. This is just a spare I usually have. But even I upgraded to a level five though as well. Also, I put a uh, some styrofoam cushion tape in the bottom so where it ain't rubbing so much on the batteries. I got them too. Here they are right here. And you can tell this is an original slash from 2007 to 2012. Because you can tell the body is the first generation because this is what the second generation body looked like. These tires are BF Goodwrench tires and not General tires or Cooper tires or Fox tires. These are BF Goodwrench. These are the third set. I had to find these offline somewhere to get those. My original tires are right here. The yeah, good ones that came with it. That's what's left of them. That's the fronts. But the rear. That's what's left of the rear. 2012. It's been a little while ago. A decade ago. That's when I got it in 2012. We're going to practice up there. Mm -hmm. Probably going to put my newest body on it so that way I don't tear up my old body. It'll be retired in a couple more years. I want to jump it over the house one more time before I do retire it later on. Um, you see it's got a cut here. I don't know if you can really see that well in here. but It's got a cut here. Of course, where it's been rubbing, I cut here, cut here, all right here, all right there, through here, up here. It's worth it on this side. All down through here. And it's cut all the way through here. All up through here, big hole here, through here. Only hanging on by this much here. And then all that's cut. So it's only hanging on by this much is what's keeping this whole fender right here on. Mark Jenkins. Oh, and um, this bottom piece back here had to be replaced. Um, the, the main gearbox inside where the metal gears are, it had to have new bearings in it. Um... Probably done went through about 20 motors. And then, of course, uh, one of these shocks is, I think it's this one. It's black color, not gray. No, it's this one. I still have the other one, but uh, they're wore out. They're, uh, strut, the struts are wore out. As you can see. I'm not safe to jump right now. Over the years, you know, 2012 on to now, still going in 2022. The rear, though, is kind of works a lot better because one of those has been replaced. I need to put uh, 
new oil in the front ones. I have some oil. I'm going to try to do that later. Um, Big Foot runs fine. 2018 model. And 2014 Stampede. Everything on it's still original. The shocks still work just fine. Because it hasn't really been used that much. It's kind of was a beater, but it works fine now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them set up outside, and you'll see. As you can still see, Mark Jenkins, J E N Jenkins, Mark Jenkins. If you can't see the one from that side. You have this side too, which you can kind of see it a little bit better. It's Mark Jenkins. Let's see, I have that. And that's another thing, this is molded in the body. As on this one is a sticker. Let's see, Mark Jenkins. It's just been flipped so many times. I'll show you where I jumped this uh, this hat in just a moment. So right here, this shed was the first one I jumped three times. Started all the way back from over there, came down through here wide open, and right down there, on the other side of that yellow pole in the gravel driveway, the shed used to sit like right over in there, kind of like on that, that side, on the right side of the grass, and back behind where those limbs are. It used to be a tool shed. Anyway, I go wide open right here, 45 miles an hour is what it was the speed it went back then, you know. Now when you get a Traxxas Slash with a TSM in them, they're not no longer $200. It was le le less than $200. I bought it back in 2012. It was at, I actually got it at Pet Boys. I didn't get it from Traxxas um, online like the other ones. I got it, I saw it on Traxxas, but I didn't get it until it was on Pet Boys. Well, anyway... I jumped that shed. They had a uh, gravel truck down there that had two um, truckloads of red clay down there and I just jumped it going wide open. I still got the original 2012, 2007 2012 Titan uh, T12 motor, which um, the older motor really looks a lot bigger. It's kind of thin at the edge and then it gets like this big around as they're all now are even that big around so they i had to make some adjustments to make it fit but right here is where i'm probably racing it at to do practice and then i jumped it over this house before and it landed and worked just fine so um we're gonna go ahead and do that so um then we'll end up landing here and this is not original this is about three years old this is from like 2005 and then this is like from 1997 but uh we're gonna get it on see you guys in just one moment How many of you guys like Rod Stewart? Maggie, I just think. Oh, Maggie. Alright, so here we are. 2013 or 2014 model. 2007 to 2012 model. 2000 and... This one, I say. Uh, it says December. Probably December 2018, if I was to guess. Alright. So I'm going to get the batteries for them and put the batteries in them. You know, I clean them up and so on go. And... We're going to go ahead and run them. I might want to. I might put my 2012 tires on if I do that. It's just gonna be sliding all over the place. I'm gonna put the original body, which is this one. I'm gonna clean it up real good before I put it in a glass case. Clean up the body. 
clean up my original tires. I'm gonna have these and that in the cat in the box too, but separate. I mean, whenever I go to race this truck, though, unless it's gonna be like a vintage type of racing, like vintage racing without jumping over anything, I might put the old body back on it. But when I start doing a couple of competitions with it, I might put my newer body on it. But I still wanted to race this truck and win a few a few championships with it. So I may lock tight all the holes up, fill them up, and then just race it. But that's really what I always wanted to do with it. I really wanted to win a championship with it. And I remember when I first got this truck, um, you know how always, of course, and this is the original remote, but remember, always, of course, back is forward, forward is reverse. Well, on this one, when I got it for some reason, even though it was set up right, the wires, and the wires burn up on it before. That's why when the battery it starts blinking red, when the battery gets low, you have to unplug it because it won't cut off because it's got a short where it caught on fire at before. But anyway... And when I first first got it, I used to watch those videos when I was a kid. I was just a kid, you know. So, I drove it in, fully submerged in water. <laughs> but, you know, everything on it was waterproof except for the original motor itself. So, you know. Still got the original motors open anyway. Um, instead, when you push it forward, it go forward and back was reversed. So, it was kind of, you go wide open and, you know, you sit there going, and then you go this way and all of a sudden it's, <laughs> oh, yeah. For some reason it was set up like that, but let's just get on with it. And just to show you that it is the original Slash, first generation Slash, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the inside parts here, just a second. And just remember, mommy's alright, daddy's alright, just sing a little bit. Anyway, remember this is the original types of batteries that would go in the Slash, but of course this one never was an ID. Like ID 5 series, and that's 3 series. Originally, it was a 3 series. As you can see it right there. This is 5 series, which is right there. Now I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Back then, when I got this, a TSM was less than $200, $150-something. Now a TSM is anywhere from $300 to $500. To get this Traxxas like this, they don't go 45 no more. They go 60 miles an hour now, and they cost about $500. Four to five hundred dollars. This one, remember, I got just under two hundred dollars. Never gonna see that again. Anyway, let's show you. So this is now a vintage. And as you can see, it's just dry rotted. You can see it cracked all the way down through here. It's just dry rotted. The only place it's holding together, as you can see, is right there. But here it is. I don't know how well to run. I'm going to have to put a new motor in it. But here it is. And, um, original TSM. This broke off almost two years ago. The, didn't realize it was a battery hanging and it ran over it and it broke it off. But, um, you can tell it's original because this is what the original plug looks like. Unlike how the new modern ones look like that. They changed that in 2014, I believe, because that's what that one is, and it's like that. Um, the old toyish looking gray platform body, same thing with that one, as this one is the newly farmed black body on it. Everybody said they didn't like looking at it because it looked like a toy. <laughs> but um, this one's actually the newer steering servo which i have the old one and i've rebuilt the old one i'm eventually going to put the old one back in it this is the newer servo that's in it right now i got the original one um the controller panels in here is still all original still burn up where one of them caught on fire um original shock still they've never been redone this uh is still the original left side right here plastic piece still original as this one has actually been replaced three times and I eventually replaced it with the aluminum because I kept running into uh, there was a tree right there and it had some limestone rocks and I kept hitting those rocks head on 
There's quite a lot of stories with these I could tell you, but probably nobody would care. Cause the only person who knows is me. But uh, yeah, this is the original battery to the Stampede. And now we're going to take them for a test drive. Let's do it. And just look how much that holds them wore out from use. Even this where the antenna just rubs around, look how much is going to wear out there. As you can see, we got the brand new motor in here. Another way you can tell between vintage and not vintage is that the new ones would have two pins on here as the old ones would only have one. My 2013 model body is also, as you can tell, it's wore out. Yeah. Especially in the rear, it's really where it's wore out at. Two thousand thirteen model. Motor's running a little hard right now. And the battery still ain't charging, so I do know that I need a new charger, which we're gonna get that hopefully before the end of this month. I hope that's my remote down. It's getting a little stiff. Probably for the unit, probably because the inside of it might be rusty. I mean, 2012, you know. 10 years. Will be 10 years. Or might have been 10 years. Don't forget this thing might possibly could be 13 years old right now. Going on 14 years old. I'm gonna try putting a good battery in it. I'm gonna park it real quick and then I'm gonna swap batteries and see if it might race. Might race. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Here's my 2013-2014 year mile slash. Stampede. It's got some bit of battery life in it, but still, I, you, I know it'll go way faster than that, and it feels underpowered. It's the old charger that's wore out now for my slash. I just need to get a new wall charger.
This one's also somewhat stiff. All of a sudden it feels faster. Pete will go ahead and get ready for the next one. I know it's not my slash. I know it's not my Bigfoot either that's messed up. Once again, the batteries, I'm going to try to see if it's the charger. Because I've done been through so many batteries now. And remember how the Stampede went fine because the batteries charged. And the slash, 2012 slash didn't do very good. And now my 2018 Bigfoot's not doing very good. The battery's dead as well. That tells me it's got to be something with the charger. This one's also a little stiff. Probably. My steering's fine though. My steering's stiff. The rest of it's stiff. There goes my hero, watching as he goes. All about that early 2000. There goes my hero, watching as they Now all of a sudden it comes alive. It can't be as short. Because they wouldn't just go from... See? Something's going on. Because all of a sudden it wants to go wide open and then it slows down. See? Something is up with that. Now all of a sudden it's going wide open. Well, 
What in the world, man? Now all of a sudden it's racing around now. I wonder if that lemon juice I put in there had something to do with it. If so, then I don't know why my stampedes, my slash is still not back fixed yet. It's the only one I ain't running right now. Oh, and now it's slowing down again, man. Come on. Got on the gas too soon. Battery's going, getting low now. There it is. There's the big foot. I'm going to try to slash one last time. The old slash 2012, when I got it, it said ready to race with the box. You know, they made to be raced. This is the type of slash that I like and this type of slash that I miss. This right here. Still got the original 2007 and 2012, but still got the original shocks, the original. Still got the original drive shafts. The drive shafts are still original. They never snap. You know, they're barely hanging on there now, but. Still got four minutes left.
<laughs> That's the 2012 that I miss. 2007 to 2012. Huh? Okay. Dang it! Wait. It's a little something like this. Come on. Ready? It goes a little something like this. Baby, what can't you see? Cause baby, you remember me. Cause you're an important guy. Give someone else a try. Be sure you better watch your step. Or you ain't gonna hurt yourself. Someone tell you lies. Cut you down to size. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Don't do me like that. But, yep. 2012 Slash. Still can kick butt this year. Needs a comeback. Still want to do some races with it. Let's go. Be retired in a couple more years. Let's go.